While many parents are struggling to keep their kids off computers and video games, some youngsters kicked off their first official day of summer camp by logging onto a computer. We sent the CBC's Tina Lovegreen out to find out why. Tina, what's this all about? Well, Dan, I walked into a room full of 8 to 10 year old kids and they're all wearing name tags, but beside their actual names, they'd written down their usernames or login names and they're all sitting in front of laptop computer screens playing Minecraft. Now, Minecraft is a Lego style adventure game where players can gather resources, make tools and build things in a virtual world. It's been branded as a virtual sandbox and it gained popularity as an educational tool after Microsoft bought the game and expanded it to classrooms. The education version of the game allows teachers to customize and modify it to teach students particular subjects like math, geography and history. The organizer Anna Belouz started this camp four years ago. And she admits it was tough to get parents on board at first. I think that since uh, the game was purchased by Microsoft and it is being introduced to classrooms across the world, literally in September, um, there is now we suddenly have the stamp of approval. But when I first started out, it was it, there was certainly a lot of educating I had to do on the part of uh, me speaking with parents and showing them um, through the game what it was that, what where the potential was where we could go with it. And she does say that children at the camp will actually spend less time staring at the screen than if they were at home because at least there they're being monitored. Uh, so beyond the fun of the game what kinds of skills are these kids learning? Well for these keys, kids in particular rather uh, the focus is on typing and learning where the home keys are because the organizer believes if they can type quickly and accurately then they've got potential to become let's say a computer programmer. Uh, these kids are also taught about internet safety the servers uh, here are closed but you know once they start playing at home they'll be open and uh, they're taught about what they should be aware of, what dangers to look out for in that scenario. Another major part of all this is socializing. Kids are sitting in groups asking each other what to build, what key does what, and the instructors also teach them about gaming etiquette, etiquette rather. So staying away from profanity, not blowing things up or stealing from other users in the game. But maybe I'll leave you with the kids uh, explaining what they've learned. Well, that Minecraft is a really, really fun game. To play. Are you learning anything else? Are you learning how to um, type? Are you learning anything ben, about the yes, world? Yes, definitely how to type. I'm learning ben. how to. Yes, you. I built a safe to wall play. over here. <laughs> what did you learn about computers? That they sometimes mess up and it's really annoying to fix because they can do something really bad. As in, like, it just you can't get in the game and then you have to troubleshoot everything. And if that, and then eventually just something like restarting the computer. So far, uh, 700 kids have gone through this program, and there'll be another uh, week-long camp session starting in August. Dan? Fun and educational. Thanks very much, Tina. You're welcome.